The scene you've just observed could have taken place in Overbrook in the mid-1600s. That was then, and this is now. Before European settlers arrived, Overbrook and the surrounding areas had been considered a well-watered wooded area, reputed to be good hunting grounds for the local Native Americans, attracted to the locality by its beauty and natural features. The land, once cleared of trees, proved to be fertile farmland. The small streams, once dammed, provided power for the numerous mills. Gris milk ground grain into fills, meal, sawmills, took the trees clear from the land and turned them into lumber for local buildings and those in nearby cities. Paper mills and gunpowder mills were also in operation along the local creeks for a time. In the 19th century, with the coming of the Industrial Revolution, textile factories were built that employed hundreds of men and women, boys and girls. Even after these factories converted into steam power by the mid-19th century, they still used the creeks as sources of water for their bleaching and dyeing operations and as receptacles for their waste. The Overbrook section of West Philadelphia is an example of taming of the area's natural topography by overlaying an urban infrastructure. In the 19th century, urban planners developed large tracts of available farmland accompanied with this easy rail transportation created an area attractive to real estate development. Today, Overbrook is a diverse community in its ethnicity, religions, and culture. The Overbrook Environment Education Center is committed to preserving the best of this community's historic and current values. Hi, I'm Kathleen McClady. I'm the principal of Overbrook Elementary. We're a school located in historical Overbrook. Um, we have approximately 361 students at this time. I feel that environmental education is an important aspect of the student's educational process. Not only is it a grant for the state of Pennsylvania, one of their state standards, but it also gets the children in touch with their environment and their community. Through the environmental program, our students are learning about the history of Overbrook Elementary, of Overbrook, the Overbrook area. They're learning about the importance of conserving the environment. They're getting to see past Overbrook along with the future of what it can be. With environmental education starting with young children, they're able to pass it on throughout the community. They take that time and share it with their parents, and they're very good at nagging their parents with things that we can't get them to do. For example, recycling and conserving, greening the environment. They're learning how to do gardens. They're visiting other city gardens, and they're learning the importance of bring rain runoff, and I think that this is really an important aspect to education. Um, I, we started this program about six weeks ago, and um, my major in school is architecture, but I'm also, I minor in photography also. So um, I tried to bring an aspect of architecture and photography to this group, and we took the children to see the York Environmental Education Center. And the children seemed to enjoy the visit extremely much. They went to see the site and their first impression was that it was really dirty and there was a lot of stuff that needed cleaned up about it. And they were surprised when we showed them pictures of sites, what it could be like. We showed them pictures of gardens and they were extremely surprised what it could look like. And so then um, we had them develop ideas for the site and what they wanted to see on it. A lot of them loved the water aspects. They loved fountains on the sites. And, um, they just, they came up with incredible ideas, ideas that I think adults wouldn't even have thought of. So the ideas that they had brought to the site were extremely important. And then we had them think of ideas for tiles that would actually go on the site. And um, they developed some ideas over a few weeks and they painted the tiles. And now we'll be able to arrange the tiles and they'll actually go on the site. So they had a hand in what will go in the site itself. 
and the children, we had them think of ideas to make the site inviting. And they thought of color ideas, they thought of um, ideas that could be in the site, places for people to go in and sit, and places for children to learn. And we had each of them keep a journal over the course of the eight weeks. So um, at the end of the week, eight weeks, I think that they understood um, what goes into the process of making a garden. One of the activities that we also did during this eight-week process is we took them to the site that, that currently the Overbrook Environmental Center is going to be located at. Uh, before we took them out, we broke them up into different groups where they had different responsibilities, such as surveyors, photographers, architects, and landscape ar architects. And during their walk to, to the site, and while they were at the site, each group would do their various activities that and walk their roles, such as architects um, group, they would look at the different type of houses along the way. Landscape architects would look at how the slopes and elevation grades change along the way, and well as trees and vegetation. Surveyors would pay attention to sidewalks, different types of streets, how wide the streets are, curves, steps, etc. And the photographers also took pictures. While they were at the sites, they drew and did a lot of sketches. Um, it's also it's along the way where they were going to the neighborhood and they had a good time. They really saw what the site was and gave them a lot of ideas for the top project. Um, I actually got involved in the program last year and continued on this year with a different group. Um, I did a school in uh, South Philadelphia last year, now I'm over in Overbrook. And it's just been a really great experience working with this class, uh, Mrs. Buckley, as well as um, four other participants. Um, regarding the site visit, we first met um, just the teachers um, and the other participants in the program, and we walked over to the site. And I have to say, the first time I saw it, I was a little skeptical, um, <laughs> just to, to say that at least, um, in terms of just seeing how this would transform into a neighborhood environmental center and how we could structure an eight-week class with kids on it, because you don't know going in uh, what the kids' experience is with being outside, um, if they could even understand what an environmental center is, and how to tie that in with what we wanted to do in terms of teaching about architecture, design, a little bit of map, history, things like that. Um, but I've been really pleased with the, the results so far. Uh, today we're painting our tiles, which is sort of the culmination of the project. We've also done things um, with scale, as well as a bunch of field trips. Um, and I think it's really great because you can definitely see that the, the kids are not used to working in groups in the same way that we have been working in groups. Um, you can definitely see one week's team leader, not the next week's team leader, um, and different strengths and weaknesses, as well as the kids being used to doing art, because I know that's not part of their curriculum. And so to have them have to paint tiles uh, is a little intimidating, but um, I've definitely seen them become more comfortable with themselves and working with us, even within their group. I, I just think it would be great to have some place that would bring community together, that you could take a course, that you could talk to people, have a meeting, things like that. I think there's probably a lot of rich in which to give of themselves uh, professionally, personally, uh, exactly. spiritually. I think that would be a good thing. I could not be more impressed, and we are committed to seeing this project uh, to its completion. Uh, and I'm glad to see that the other partnerships have been able to put together. But uh, we're going to have for students from Overbrook High and for students from Overbrook Elementary and for some of us who may even have a few gray hairs, this will be a place in which you will be able to really uh, come to appreciate our responsibilities as stewards of our environment. Since I teach science and language arts, I think that would be awesome. Um, not because I was that great in science, but because I fell in love with it while I was teaching uh, elementary. And the thought of a place that you could actually do things with science and teach children how to take care of their environment, that is just beyond belief awesome. Our, my children are inner city children and they don't know, how, they don't know dirt, they don't know how to take care of things, to nurture where you live. And this, I get excited about that because that's what I want for kids, you know, so yes, I think that would be absolutely great. And when Jerome and Jazz Tech get finished with this project, it'll really help change and transform this little piece of the city here. And I really want to congratulate him for that and recognize that that is what we're looking to happen all over the city of Philadelphia. So kudos to Jerome. And a great job. Um, 
But we really are all here due to Jerome and his talent and energy and commitment, really, to building a team and a team that collaborates well together. We know that this site will be regenerated and revitalized. We know that the construction work here will be environmentally responsible. And we know that the programs that are run here after construction will be socially responsible. We all know that because of Jerome and his team's commitment. But the ultimate goal here, and actually part of Jerome's vision, is that projects like this become more the rule than the exception, both in Philadelphia and in other urban areas. The connection between urban inhabitation and life in cities and, the glo and global health of our environment is critical, and we're really excited to be a part of this project, and we hope that it leads to, to many more just like it. Thanks very much. The Overbrook Environmental Education Center is a phenomenal facility that will transform and preserve some of the very unique qualities of the Overbrook community. We'll be able to represent that change agent that will allow people to preserve the things that they like about Overbrook so well. We'll be able to create an opportunity for children and parents alike to learn and, and, and improve the quality of their, their environment at the same time. We're excited about this development and we know that you will be too.